there's an ear you can fill, I won't judge. I'm no judge. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. And welcome, if you are new to our soul family, our soul tribe, I'm so happy you're here with me today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Christine. You can also call me Chris. I do not mind either. Welcome Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs to your December 2022 Love Messages reading. Pisces, this is your no contact and or in separation reading your love tarot. Also your love oracle. <laughs> Why am I putting my hands down? Because I normally have it here in your messages from their higher self reading. But I've decided to just kind of start. Yeah, I want the table to be clear right now. That's just how I'm feeling. Everything as always is shuffled and ready to go around me. <laughs> but before I get started, I just saw something here in my viewfinder, my camera that is just <laughs> making me giggle. First, let me just pause for a minute and ask if you see it too. Okay, did you see it? You might not have, but look, I just realized it may just be something now that you're going to see in the entire reading. <laughs> look, it's like eyes, a nose, and a beard, look, and a mouth. You guys, I can even make ears. <laughs> okay, this is so silly. Is it Santa? I don't know, guys, but this is just something that made me laugh. Okay, we're gonna get into your reading, but before we do, I just wanna remind you that this month's giveaway is already going on. If you would like to be entered in the Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards giveaway, the complete spiritual toolkit for transforming your life by Tori Hartman, please watch, like, and share the reading. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notifications on and leave a comment down below and please include that you are entering in this month's drawing. Okay, good luck you guys. By the way, yeah, I'm a little bit delayed in announcing the winner. I have the winner for November's Grim Alkins Curious Cats Tarot. I just really haven't had a minute to breathe and put it out there. So I will do that. Apologies for the delay. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All the links are below if you want to cross watch. If you would like to watch Twin Flame readings, mystery readings, message from your spirit guide readings, they're all down below, spirit guides. Also down below is a link to my website, christineledoux.com, not the tarot closet. I'm actually still updating it. And that is my music site. If you enjoyed today's intro music, that is my music. If you would like to hear more, feel free to go down there. You can also just read more about me. Also linked below is my new merchandise store and there is a coupon down there for December for 15% off. I'd like to thank those of you that have already been shopping at the Tarot Closet Merchandise Store. Thank you so much. Everything that you you purchase at the store, your donations, it all really helps keep the tarot closet going. There's a lot behind the scenes, way past what you see here as well. Everything goes back in. So thank you so much if you have purchased my merchandise, donated to the channel. And also, I have opened up private readings, but I can only do it a limited number based on yeah, my schedule. So if you are interested in a private reading, make sure you come down and join the Facebook private community, the Tarot Closet Tarot community. That is where I'm always going to announce spaces, I guess you could say, time that I have for private readings every month. It's going to be there first. Okay, guys, that's it. We're ready to go. <laughs> I'm shuffled, but I like to get more. And look, yeah, this is what happens at the tarot closet. Are these yours? Yes, they are. Also, this just revealed itself to me. It is the king of wands. And this is very interesting. And this is also not surprising at all here, guys. Sagittarius coming through. Also, Aries for me. And I want to say to you, do you hear my voice? I am so breathless. I am so breathless. And I'm also kind of giddy. <laughs> so... Interesting what is going on in this connection because the fire is here. Let's see if the King of Wands is coming back. 
Could it be somebody is taking <laughs> the wand by the horn, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But taking that wand and moving forward somewhere. Let's see. Wow, look. Are you seeing this? I want to show you. It's, it's kind of like popping up like it wants to be here. All right, well, we'll see. You want to come back, King of Wands? You can come back. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please show us what our beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs need to see, need to hear? Maybe they've already seen it. Maybe they've already heard it. And they don't want to see it. Maybe it's buried deep down and we need to go in and get it. Whatever needs to come through today, yeah, that's yours. Please bring it through. Aho. Everything came down, guys, but we still need the overall energy. Please show us the overall energy. Please show us the card or cards as it may be, aho. Okay. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, look at this wand energy. This is just so not surprising. This is Jupiter in Sagittarius energy. We also see that it's time. Somebody's happy about putting these wands down. You know, <laughs> I used to run marathons, and I tell you, there is a giddiness to getting to the finish line. It can be very stressful and very difficult, especially toward the end, or at least for me, it was. The wand energy today is really strong. I'm feeling really breathless. This is the energy of love, and this here is the journey. This is the journey with your person. Somebody's putting some wands down here and it's a new cycle beginning. I think that might be you, Pisces. Let's see what's going on in your reading. It's the Six of Cups. All right, guys, wow. It's the Sun in Scorpio. Could there be a reunion also coming along here? Possibly can also be somebody's just feeling really nostalgic. It's the first card. And look what's right below it. It's the Five of Cups now. So we have the Five of Cups. We also have the Six of Cups. Interesting. Moon and Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces. The Lover's Card. Wow. Gemini Energy. This is Venus, and this is also Mercury, the planet of love. It's the lover's card, so hardly surprising here. And also Mercury, which is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Somebody's feeling really nostalgic here. We also see with this Five of Cups that not only do I feel you are left behind, but there's a lot of regret here and it's coming through. Who, with your person, look. Yeah, the King of Wands came back. The King of Wands, this is somebody who is wanting to, yeah, get the courage to come. This is a king, this is not page energy. And it's the energy of love. It's the idea of love, it's the passion and it's the fire. I feel that somebody here Maybe it's both. I feel you, Pisces, but your person is also in this energy. And this might be why this King of Wands, we saw it already, and why the overall energy is the Ten of Wands, and why I feel so breathless, because somebody has put down something that has been burdening them. Look, and is trying to get the courage to come back. It's the Two of Cups. Look at all this emotional energy. This is Venus in Cancer, Pisces. Venus, again, the planet of love. Soulmate energy, yes. Twin flame energy, yes. Is everybody here on a twin flame journey? No, of course not. But you know, I'll always bring that through. So take what's for you and let the rest go. You guys know the story here. But it's very clear there is a decision going on. It's the planet of love. It's so emotional, this entire, look at it already. A lot of love here. There's also a decision. 
about the two of you. And look what is right below it. It is the Eight of Pentacles. This is Sun in Virgo. Who's getting ready to work on this commitment? What's going on with the six here? That's Venus coming through again. And again, it's the planet of beauty, the planet of love and harmony and relationships. There's regret here. Somebody's releasing something in their life and trying to come and make peace, Pisces. My gosh. And the Eight of Pentacles. Working away for what? This. This is the journey of love. This little gingerbread house. You see that snow there? It's been very quiet. There has been, for sure, ghosting. There has, has not been talking here. So this might even come as a surprise to you. Somebody hasn't let somebody go. But somebody's doing some work behind the scenes. For those of you on a twin flame journey, this is shadow work and ascension. And either way, even if you're not, it's somebody doing some work in order to get some... Yeah, it's the Ten of Wands. Some burdens dealt with some things that have been, yeah, really weighing them down. It's a new cycle here. It's catty corner with the king of wands. It's putting these wands down, sitting down with that wand, wearing that heart chakra look, the passionate robe. Three, I want to say holly formations about the change, the change that's about to take place, which feels very fiery. And look where the King of Wands is looking. Down at a forlorn Five of Cups. Somebody who was very hurt here, felt very left behind, felt like somebody else was not giving the same in a partnership. There is an imbalance here. There was an imbalance here. And it's clear with the Five of Cups that there's a lot of loss surrounding this connection. Oh my gosh, you guys. For some of you, this is a childhood, somebody, childhood connection, excuse me. But that's not for everybody. But you know what is for everybody? Look at this. This is that feeling of feeling at home with somebody. And it can be that, yeah, chronologically, you have known this person for a while can also be that you felt that way. And for a lot of you, it's not for everyone because I know not everybody knows or cares about twin flame journeys. It's just how it is that this is connected to a twin flame journey. And it just goes without saying that this is connected to past lives. If you follow the past life journey, look what the combination here. Thinking here, very nostalgic. This is you and your person, you're both here. The first placement can be all you, it can be all your person, and it can be really strong in one or the other. Today, it's both of you. You're both here. Thinking of each other, your person has regret. Your person has a lot of regret, but I also want to say to you, although I do see somebody here putting the wands down and trying to come to you, can it be a message only? Let's see what's going on in their naughty corner. <laughs> and I'll tell you what the naughty corner is if you're new here, if you don't know. And the reason I say that is because I just got a message that came through too for some of you that, yeah, they have have other commitments here that they've been working on and that's partly why, look, we see here with these heart chakra socks, poots, whatever, we see them stepping back reaching a little further for a cup, but holding theirs a little bit closer. We see somebody here reaching. We see the healing necessary, and that's going to be doing the work, but we also see that somebody here was stepping back because they had commitments that were overwhelming, exhausting them. Work? Possibly, yeah. But the pentacles are commitments, so the pentacles can be 
work and money involved with money. It can also be relationships, other relationships, whether it's a romantic connection or not. And it can be for some of you because look, it's pretty clear. But there's a lot more coming through than just, look, they're putting this down and they're trying to get the courage to come. That is clear. Look at this, guys. You're also here. Your person leaving you, yeah, feeling unloved and abandoned. Look. It's the three cups. They're spilt over. It's emotional. And the emotional energy is frozen. It's quiet. It's still. It's not flowing. It's quiet. It happened and it got quiet. And you're still standing here in the cold with your person there behind you, not letting them go, deciding where you're going here, but you're still here wearing your long black coat. Five is the number of change. And it can also be telling us what we already know, that there has been some conflicting energy within your person, some con conflicts, conflicting energy between the two of you. But it's also coming out of that. And if that is you, if you are saying, I'm, yeah, that's me and I'm, I'm out now. I'm done with the silence. I'm done with waiting in the cold. You get on with your bad self and you pick up those cups and you go fill them because look, it's flowing there. Fill them up, fill up your cups, your heart, your emotions, your love, and cross that bridge, which is telling us for new directions, new connections, also the connection to the divine and going here to this fortress, getting some perspective. Maybe there's somebody there for some of you that's already in your life or somebody waiting for you. That's really strong if you're on a twin flame journey. I know, and it's just not for everybody, but this reading is for everybody. There's a, <laughs> this is a lot coming through here. And your person too. Look at this. You've been hoping, well, first I want to finish because there's a message coming now that you have been wanting a reunion for a while. You kind of gave up. It's, you've been hopeless. It's been cold and it's been quiet. Here we see that you're thinking of your person. But I also see here that your person is thinking of you. And part of that is because something here has been opened up, released. This is eight. Eight is an action number. It's moving forward, getting something done, accomplishing something. It's also about manifesting. Can be considered lucky. There's a lot of karmic energy around it. So for some of you, it's clear that somebody here, and I want to be respectful. So I'm not going to go yeah, I have some messages that are trying to come out and I, I, I know I have to sometimes just make decisions and I'm making this decision now. But I want to say that for some of you that there is a karmic situation with your person. It can also be you, but it was really overwhelming and they were not able to offer you what they wanted. But look at this. You've been on their mind. You're here. You're here. But they were here with this Ten of Wands. And this is where you've been too. But you're also saying, yeah. And that's why I feel the giddiness and the relief. Because it's freaking cold. It's cold. And you see the water flowing. You, every now and then you look up and you see this castle. And you know it's warm in there. Look at the Christmas tree with the star. And the hope. Aquarius coming through. The renewal. Also coming through, wanting that clarity and knowing that if you just look up, that you can, you can get it, you can cross over. And I know it's not for everyone that you're going to be going anywhere because for some of you, this is one of those, well, for everybody, let me just put it this way. Look at this. For everybody, it's one of those connections. But whether you are going to want to see them or connect for the rest of this lifetime is just going to be different for everyone. This is a, there's a soul connection here. It's just very, very clear, but it's been quiet and it's been hurting you. And that is why 
I'm seeing this. And I have to tell you, the table situation today, <laughs> it's never come through. And you know, this is in my a new Christmas setup, just a little setup I've put out in the last week or so. And yeah, like Father Christmas, Santa here in Austria, we have Kriskin coming tomorrow. Looks a little bit like Santa, but it's not Santa. Yeah, we have Nikolai. Anyway, it's connecting to all of this because Santa, <laughs> stay with me here, guys. What is the, the folklore? Let's say that, okay? What is the folklore? That Santa's on his sleigh, <laughs> right? Where is that? It's up in the spirit. It's up in the divine, excuse me. It's up here. And what is Santa carrying on that sleigh? What does the divine have up there? Gifts. What are these gifts? Downloads, information, new beginnings, new starts, renewal. And where do they put them? Under this tree. And where is this tree? Here for you. Are, could it be for some of you that maybe this is reunion energy here, that somebody is here, look, we get a closer look at it here, here it is. Could it be that somebody's there and the snow is melted and the gift is maybe the two of you, maybe for some of you that came through. I know it's not for everybody. And that is the other thing I want to say too, the strong feeling of that is it's a lot of the wishes and that's why you've been waiting here. And for those of you on a twin flame journey, it's, it's been impossible. Yeah, to be together and it's been quiet. You're both here. They have regret. Feeling like they lost you. Something is releasing. The question is, regardless of what journey you're on, are you going to be there for them to see possibly Look at this, guys, because there's decisions here. And I feel like it's both of you. We see a decision together, but I feel a lot of independent energy here as well. It's the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, look, and the Five of Wands. It's half of the Wands here. And that's also the Five, and that's the change that we see here. And these are the obstacles. My gosh, you guys, something in their life that's, look, look at the gifts there. And these are somehow weirdly connecting right now. It's just not even weird. We see it. It's clear. It's clear. It's partly why you were left in the cold. And then it froze really fast. It got quiet really fast. But you're like, wait a minute. Get this. I don't know. Can it be that for some of you, now that these obstacles, I feel these whatever's going on, whatever commitments somebody had here, and also not offering the emotional availability, that's clear. That's really clear. Looks at the Nine of Pentacles here, right? Look at this. Eight going into the Nine. The Nine of Pentacles is Virgo and Mercury. Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Nine is also connecting us to Mars, which connects us, by the way, to Aries and Scorpio. Anyway, the beginning and the end. And Mars is the planet of action, passion, also sometimes aggression. So there is some situation, whether it's your part or your person's, but it's pretty strong. It's the naughty corner, okay? I'll tell you in a moment why, if you're new here, why I call it that. But there's some situation that your person's had, commitment issues, but not just commitment issues, guys. There's commitments elsewhere, and it's been, there's been a lot of possibly even discord and conflict in their life. But it's also in their mind, and it's a, it, they're not balancing out their life, but they're also just not balanced, and it's also clear here that they were not giving emotionally a little and then stepping back, but reaching for more from you. You Neither of you have let each other go, but it could be whether it's forever, just this lifetime, whatever journey you're on. 
that some of you are saying, yeah, I'm th I've been thinking about this, my person, and I've also been thinking about this, which is look. And there it is, without the snow. Are you going to go back and somebody there is going to open up emotionally some communication here? I feel like somebody's trying to get the courage to communicate, whether it's through a message, whatever, social media, if you see them, maybe moving forward quite literally. And maybe this is a decision between the two of you that, yeah, we're going to go here with the Six of Cups and the Lover's card and the Two of Cups. We're going to make this decision to go back here to the castle or here with the fire going fire energy to that tree, the gifts, or maybe not. Maybe you're going to go there and fill up your cups and that renewal has nothing to do with this person for now or for this lifetime or whatever. It really is different for everybody in the journey that you're on. But there is a decision here. And some of you look. There's that house, too, working on it. We see it again in the Nine of Pentacles, just on the verge of that ten. And then there's this one, putting down those wands. Your person, too, putting down, getting away from this conflicting energy that has been something that's been really very obviously prominent in their life. Thinking about you as well, look. That nine of pentacles, that Virgo and Mercury energy. This is somebody who's doing quite well, Pisces. I don't know. I wouldn't say I do get a little bit of an energy that things are. I do get the five. Hello. Apologies. The camera always <laughs> dies at the most inopportune times. As I was saying, I do get this five of cups energy with you. But I also get the nine of pentacles just on the verge of the new cycle because you're putting this down, this idea of love. And you're saying, yeah, whether it's now, forever, whatever your decision is, because it's freaking cold here. And that's the thing. I kind of feel you here. I, I feel you here in the sense that it has been going on. There has been loss, ghosting, quietness. You feel, you, yeah, felt like also a decision here. Maybe that's your person made because we see them making it. They say in Ireland, you vote with your feet. That's how you make a decision, not just what you say. You know, it's what you're doing, too. So it could be that part of this decision was one that they kind of made for the connection without, without asking you. You've waited, and now you're thinking, of course. It's a lot of nostalgia, guys. It's the Six of Cups. And it can be about reunions. And again, are you ready for this? Because it is for some of you, but I just know that it's not everyone. And I'm not a clickbaiter, so there's not going to be a title saying, that's it. Reunion energy is here for some of you, but it's not for everybody. This is a YouTube reading, you guys. And energies, outcomes can, will, they do change. The future is not fixed. And there's a lot of people coming here. You know that. You find your way to a reading, you take what is for you, and you let the rest go. But it's, look at this. We talked about the gifts. Somebody here, this five, this change of getting out of this situation, look at this. And taking these gifts also, and taking them here with that tree. This is reunion energy. This is also somebody possibly bringing a gift. <laughs> and I put it in air quotes because... What is that? Is it a message? Is it some clarity? Is it in person? Is it a physical gift? Like, it is Christmas. It is the holidays, I should say. Lots of stuff going on the holidays, not just about Christmas, of course. So it is there for some of you. It just is. You can see it. Look at this. And maybe you're in on the decision. Maybe for some of you, this is you coming along, tapping this person on the shoulder. Hello. 
And I don't think so. I think for a lot of you, that's you in this energy because I feel you, Pisces. And I also feel you here on that verge of the Ten of Pentacles coming after because you want the Ten of Pentacles. Whether it's with your person or for some of you, there is somebody in your life already. Whatever the case may be, it's the Nine of Pentacles and it's just on the verge of the Ten. And here, you're wearing a warm coat. You're wearing a beautiful hat. You're feeling quite good. Bird telling us that, getting your downloads, protecting yourself, look. And also I feel kind of ready for what's to come, should a message come here. Got your protective glove on. Everything look here. Journey of love back. The passionate energy, it's just really clear here. And it's almost at that 10 of pentacles, which again is the new cycle. You're here and you're here. And yeah, for some of you, it is, I miss you, sending a message, possibly seeing your person. We don't see the Four of Wands. We don't see the Three of Cups, but it can be the case. It's, it's just here. I feel it. And yeah, and they're coming over here, look, looking right at you. So it can be for some of you, that energy I'm feeling now too about a message can be that you have received one and you're not answering. Maybe that's vice versa, but somebody here is either has already either tapped on the shoulder or might be this change here. And it's pretty likely for a lot of you that it's your person coming out of that energy. Whether that's an actual physical touch, I want to say, or a message, whatever. It's clear that there's nostalgic energy. And it's clear that there's a lot of love here, but hurt too, and abandonment, some abandonment issues too. Somebody here was really triggered by that. In particular, if you're on a twin flame journey, that's going to really resonate with you. Yeah, we don't even see any sword energy. I don't need to see it. It's flashing. I'm seeing it. I guess I should say I don't need to see it here. Okay, you guys, I want to bring in some Oracle. Today, I also feel drawn to bring in some infinity deck. So we're going to bring in some of my infinity deck as well. And I do feel we're going to bring in, yeah, I am feeling it. Okay, so we're going to bring in some love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cards as it may be. Aho. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm going to tell you something. I take three in like, a, you know, a deck. This was like three separate, two separate piles went flying in two separate directions. So three came together, then three here. You can already see here. Look, I'm going to show you in a moment, but I'm also going to show you this. Look, it's a heart chakra bird. It's also a messenger. Yeah. Carrying a message. Okay. We also see a dog. Dog is connected to some loyalty, to some instinct. And it's also connecting us here with, look, there's paw prints. I know. Saying connecting with the dog energy. It's about the... I want to say that the print, what was left behind when they left, because this is also connecting us to the moon card, which is you, Pisces, also bringing in Gemini and Cancer. And that's a lot about your person's fear of possibly how they felt about you and what they could or couldn't offer and why they're reaching here for it and here and here. Look, there's the Santa. <laughs> Yet afraid, emotionally, and busy, overwhelmed, doing something here, but whatever. No excuse, right? I mean, it's really clear that there's abandonment and your person having left there and it getting really quiet. I feel this message and here we go. Can they get over their fear? Because we also see in the King of Wands 
that this is somebody trying to get the courage to get over the fear. The energy of love, the wand, is here right in this emotional energy, and it is not frozen here. It's flowing. These are the emotions that are coming forward now. This foot is going like this, and that's the decision to release, change something in their life, whether it's going to be to a meeting somehow, maybe you're even both agreeing on it, or a decision you're both going to make. Maybe when you, for some of you, it's pretty strong that you receive a message. They're getting over this fear. Can they? Because they're looking at your back. There is the Four of Cups energy. It's not here, but it's coming through. Some of that energy, the moon and cancer of, yeah, this apathy coming through of you just being so hurt, not wanting to look, but again, possibly a gift coming through. There's my air quotes. <laughs> Message. Somebody needs to get over the fear. And maybe for some of you seeing each other and look. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There was actually more than that. But that's it. They wanted to be in your reading. Wow, guys. Reciprocity. That's giving and receiving. We already know that. The emotional energy was not balanced. The commitment energy was not there. They're, they were not putting in the work then. This is also coming in reverse for me, the energy. And that happens in my readings if you're new here. And I still need to tell you about the naughty corner. And then look what's here. They were not, but are they now? Look, stagnation, ice, guys. This is here because they weren't. But are they going to? Could it be that it's here? It's two hands. It's also a decision. Look, are they deciding? Are you deciding together? Can you? Is there a reunion in here for some of you? Yeah. Is it for everyone? No, because some of you, I feel that the tapping going on, but you're not looking over. You're taking those wands, possibly, and saying, just not right now. A lot of you might be going and you might turn around. I feel a lot of indecision and I feel, I just feel a connection here that is, who, And that's why it's so hurtful. And there's a lot of passionate energy here. And those connections are, whoo, you know, and they cause that same pain in the heart. I'm tapping my heart as I talk to you. And this was the quiet and we saw it all over. We're talking about it. The stagnation, the quiet, the stillness, the ghosting, the stepping back, yet still reaching out. And these are coming after. So let's see. What is coming through here? Crown. Accomplishment. That's also coming through in the Eight of Pentacles. It's accomplishing something quite literally. Are they? And it's the crown. It's connecting to the crown chakra. Messages from the divine, which we also talked about here with Santa, I know. Stay with me, guys. And the crown chakra. I mean, yeah. Your person, knowing, also seeing. Angel, compassion. Look at the the Two of Cups here, and we already know, look at this, guys. The Archangel here with the lovers. We know this is a spiritual connection. It's even coming through in the Five of Cups. I mean, <laughs> what's going on, you know? It just is. This is one of those connections, but boy, were you hurt. And some of you just might, it might not be right now. For some of you, it is. For some of you, it's not. That's how it is. That's how it is. But look, the red lobster, the inner growth, 
If you're in America, <laughs> you're hearing the Red Lobster, the restaurant. I know. Maybe that's resonating for somebody. Maybe this is resonating for somebody anyway with the lobster. But look. The inner growth and the passion and energy of the wands. The inner growth. Putting down the... Getting out of that five of wands. Putting down those ten of wands. And saying, I, I can do the work now. Getting close to that ten of pentacles for some of you. For some of you, it doesn't feel possible. In particular, if you're on a twin flame journey, okay? I want to be real clear about that. This is not a twin flame reading, but as you know, I will bring in whatever energy is coming through. And this is a YouTube reading, so not everything is going to resonate, but you're going to know what is for you. That's just... Yeah, and that belongs here too with your person. It's heavy over here, interesting. Look, it's all lining up, the growth. And that ice melting, we see that here too. We see things flowing again. We see the river flowing actually still here. And we see it in your person's energy. Where did that go? Where did I see that? Doesn't matter because I'm seeing it. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the card or cart as it may be a hoe. Control. I feel this is coming through for a couple of reasons. One, because there is something going on with your person. Okay, that's clear. Some ego between the two of you, yeah. It's been on and off for some of you. But this is also about this faded and this connection, this your destinies being intertwined, fate and destiny. They connect with free will and choices. Control what you can, let go of what you can't. You can't control your person. And look at this, there's so many, look, the two and the lovers, the two hands, the two of cups. The two wings also connecting us to the throat chakra. Possibly a, a voice connection, I want to say. We see it in the bird. The two wings, possibly the message coming through. It's everywhere here. The cups, the two of you, still there. There you are. Controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. You can't control another person. You certainly haven't been able to do that. And of course, they can't control you either. You can't control what is going on in their life. Control what you can. Let go of what you can. And some of you are saying, yeah, I, I don't know. I've been here a long time and I don't want to be anymore. Or yeah, I want to try this. If there's a chance. Okay. Please show us the card or cards as it may be a ho. This just came right off. Who's getting these karmic lessons now? Who? Yeah, wow, guys. Putting this with the Six of Cups. I think it's your person. You know, sometimes we know, sometimes we don't if our karmic debts are paid. Be you too. Particularly, yeah, karmic lessons. You're on a twin flame journey. We all have them. Karmic lessons. Karmic dues. That's clear. And I think that that's in your person's energy. But it can be vice versa. This is being pushed off. Clingy. Interesting. It's coming through here. With your person. By the way. Before I forget. <laughs> if you're new here. The naughty corner has evolved over time in my channel of where your person's energy goes. And a lot of times it was about ghosting and running and breadcrumbing. And it just stayed their energy and it's gotten, it's evolved over time. It's past current and future energies. And you're not always gonna see the six or the seven of swords or whatever. Which by the way, they just made their way in here. Somebody may have been telling a lie not for everybody, but somebody did run away. That was your person. Connecting with the Six and the Seven of Swords. Anyway, it 
it's not always that that's what we're going to see here. Okay? But that's the naughty corner. I feel like this is coming from somewhere in their energy, but it can be for some of you too that you were clinging on to your person. Because we see it in the Six of Cups and nostalgia too and the hope for that reunion. And the Lover's card right there too. The ice is right next to the Five of Cups, which was the very strong initial cold that I felt. Shiver down my spine as I sent that. And by the way, I've got my feet in <laughs> one big giant granny slipper <laughs> with a little heater on it, in it. And I felt that. Some of you, that's about detaching. And we're still in the total lunar eclipse energy. That energy is going on for three months after the event, November 8th. Puts us right around early February. It's a deeply transformative time. It's when you make decisions or they're made for you or they're happening around you like that. It's things changing out of nowhere. It's drastic, abrupt. It's a culmination of emotional cycles that have run their course. It can be things that no longer serve you. Emotional attachments, emotions, attachments. Some of you, well, for everybody here, that's clear that that's what's going on. And that's why we see you here and why I know some of you are crossing that bridge. Hoping your person is there, metaphorically, but you know what I'm saying. Maybe they are. And some of you are not. Some of you might even just leave those cups behind. Go somewhere warmer and thought out. Maybe over here to the Nine of Pentacles. Go partner up with the Nine of Pentacles and go down and stop into the Ten of Pentacles and see what you can do for yourself, what decisions you want to make to change things. These three have been pushing off and I think that no nope, that one was and now I think it's back they're yours then we're going to do love messages and I'm going to close the reading on a fairy stone this is your goals I'm having a lot of strange throat chakra pushing it's somebody trying to speak yeah it's pretty strong here Pisces it's really it's this thing I don't know if you're hearing it it's, wow. This is also bringing through the world card. Completing, possibly a lesson here for some of you, also bringing in, of course, soulmate energy, karmic lessons, life obstacles. This is really strong if you're on a twin flame journey, but you, it's not just about that. This is also soulmate energy. This person is a soulmate. You can have many soulmates, romantic or otherwise. That's real clear, Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, beautiful Pisces, who I love so much, and all of you, whoever is here, that yeah, some of you are saying, yeah, that this is it, I'm in that, that's my journey. And others, it can be about traveling and moving, and the six and seven of swords are not here, but they came through in that weird way. They, they come through for me, wanting to come in and, and tell us that some of you, yeah, your person did ghost. Some of you might be moving forward, whether it's forever, for this lifetime. Yeah, life purpose here too. And that can be completion of a particular lesson. And also your person. Some karmic, we already know that, some karmic lessons going on. Getting ready to put that ton of wands down. But are you, are you going to be there? Are you going to turn over as they tap here on your shoulder? And that ice is still there in front of them. Are they going to be strong and bold enough with that fire to melt it? Because they got a wand. It's fire. Pisces person, you better get moving. Dependence. Putting it here. But as I did that, it was like slow motion. Ooh, going down. Because I also feel this. I feel it here with, in connection with someone in your person's life or something in their life. Maybe overdoing other people, whatever. But I also feel it with you, Pisces, in connection with your person. But I also feel that energy. That total lunar eclipse energy that we are in still 
of wanting to be honest with yourself, wanting some truth. The lunar eclipse energy is just, yeah, it, it's a harbinger, har harbinger of change. It's expressing secrets. It's, yeah, it's a real strong emotional journey. I want to tell you it's cleansing the emotional waters. It's setting your intention for renewal here. So yeah, that's why I'm feeling that energy. And some of you might say, yeah, I'm going to just torch this ice <laughs> and melt it. You guys, watch for the signs. Your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors are so strong here today. Watch for the signs for yourself. When this comes through, I'm not sending it through saying, oh, you're seeing, you know, let's say you're seeing 22. It's, it's about transitions. It's you, but it can also be somebody wanting a second chance. But we want to get it so that when you see the signs, you're thinking of them for yourself, not, you know, feeling like you're stuck in that energy of, are they coming? What are they doing? They have free will. Let your person be. What will be, will be. What is meant for you is meant for you. What will be, will be. What is meant for me is meant for me. <laughs> Silly, I know. We want to get you stronger and trusting yourself and letting your intuition guide you and trusting your gut instincts because they are your guardian angels and they're here and also taking it easy on yourself. They're sending this through quite literally right now. Whatever decision you're making here, take it easy on yourself. Be compassionate with you. You know, you know, it's buried in there. I tell this to my clients often, and it's true. Most of the time when people come for a reading here in my life or virtual or whatever, or we're doing work, they know it's maybe it's buried. It's in the subconscious, but they ultimately know. And, and I, I want to help you just figure those things out or just get you closer to trusting what, what is there, what's within you. And so do your angels. Take it easy on yourself, okay? And watch for those signs for your goals because you're in the Nine of Pentacles. And your person does think highly of you. I know. It's what? Yeah. It's also clear here. And there is regret. We see it. We know it. We feel it. What they said, what they didn't say, what they did what they couldn't do, the loss here, it's, yeah. And again, that world card is coming through and three is the divine, divine timing. And it's about growing. Change is everywhere here. We're gonna bring in some messages from the higher self and then I'm gonna get a fairy stone and close the reading today. What do you wanna say to your Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Beautiful Pisces or anyone who is here today. Messages from their higher self. I don't understand why I am so connected to you. I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. Look. That's yours and that's yours. So is that, okay? Thinking of you brings me peace. Hmm. Felt that chill. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. Fear, other commitments. Something stressful too. I wish I could see you in person. Yeah, it can really be that some of you have a conversation or there's a message going on and there's a decision being made by you and the two of you together, depending on what you're going to do here. But it's, guys, if 
you're, if you've been here at the song, you know where we are. When you feel my energy, it's because I'm thinking of you. That's it. Am I going to close? I am so sorry I lied to you. So that came through. For some of you, there was some dishonesty here. Excuse me. And that was that seven of swords that made its way in earlier Aquarius and Uranus energy. And, you know, Uranus can be really chaotic, <laughs> you know. Be a lot of intent, a lot of chaos there. And it can be somebody who wasn't intending to hurt you, but they knew that they were lying, is what I want to say. Kind of, yeah, it's that rebellious energy. It's the chaotic energy of Uranus coming through. And this, for some of you, this is what changed everything. It's not for everybody, but that is there. It came through earlier. I think about every conversation we've ever had. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. Pisces, you are one loyal person, I will say. And you're, I find you very easy to love. I will always love you. Pisces. This is, I feel this. I also feel that you're sending it. Fairy stone. It's butterflying. It's the transformative energy. It's the total lunar eclipse that we're still in till early February, and that's you. Right here on the verge of the 10, dropping those wands, melting that ice, or crossing right over it, crossing over the bridge, making decisions. Whatever decision you're making, trust yourself. Let your intuition guide you, okay? Alchemize that fear that might be holding you back and use it to drive you. Use this wand energy here, that king of wand energy, and channel that that bold, strong, courageous energy that is also within you to get into this transformation. Maybe you're saying, I'm not there yet. Yeah, even if you're in the larva stage, you know, spinning around in that cocoon for some of you. Not for everybody, I know. But you got to get there to get to be the butterfly. In any way, you're a butterfly. It's slippery. Beautiful Pisces, that is your reading today. I wish you love, light, all things good. Thank you very much for joining me today. All the links, everything is down below, so I'm not gonna not gonna repeat it. I look to I look forward to seeing you at another reading, at your next reading, perhaps in our private Facebook community. Come over there, guys. It's safe. You're safe. Okay. Love you. I'll see you next time. Bye, Pisces. <laughs>